Here they come, the new Proto 2000 F3 diesels in HL. In June 1945, EMD's first F3 rolled out of LaGrange to give customers a taste of things to come. Entering production in the summer of 1946, the 1,500 horsepower units could be set up for freight or passenger service, and over the next four years, just over 1,800 A and B units were delivered. Through the production run, EMD changed various parts. Early examples had four high fans, screen sides, and three portholes, while late production units had low fans, air grills, and louvered air intakes in place of the center porthole. Like the prototypes, Walther's new Proto 2000 F3s are perfect for repowering your transition era railroad. Resplendent in royal blue, B&O locos are complete with automatic train stop shoe, Nathan 5 chime air horn, high radiator fans, chicken wire side grills, and steam generator details. Painted in the same colors as the famed Streamliner fleet, UP units include single chime air horns, see-through dynamic brake grids, roof grabs, an add-on winterization hatch, authentic green anti-glare nose panel, and Mars light on A units. These handsome Q motors are available in two versions. The number 161 series model a drawbar equipped ABA loco, while the number 160 A, B, and C represent a trio separated into three individual locos. Both series are detailed as they appeared circa 1963 with fireman's side nose grabs, wagon wheel radio antenna, printed EMD model plate, partial side skirts, and Mars light on A units. It's Santa Fe all the way with these colorful units, which include a rear mount wagon wheel radio aerial as appropriate, fireman's side nose grabs, wind deflectors, photo etched far grills, see-through dynamic brake grids, and the later style low radiator fans. Resplendent in grand gold, these F3s come factory detail as they appeared in 1961 with chicken wire grills and side louvers, whip radio antenna, and DRGW style grabs. Modeler applied parts include an Nathan M3 horn, nose MU receptacle, pilot MU hoses, firecracker radio antenna, and journal boxes which are all included to match the appearance of the engines in service during 1962 to 1964. Perfect for speeding freight along the water level route, these units include an automatic train stop shoe, single chime air horns, high radiator fans, engineer side nose grabs, and nose ladder grabs. Snaking up Cajon or rolling into El Paso, these elegant SP Black Widows are super detailed with high radiator fans, nose ladder grabs, see-through dynamic brake grids, chicken wire side grills, full fuel tank skirts, and a working Mars light on A units. Brilliant Omaha Orange and Pullman Green highlight the many fine details of these locos that include the front number plate, chicken wire side grills, high radiator fans, see-through dynamic brake grids, and full fuel tank skirts. Undecorated models come with a full selection of these add-on details for easy customizing. For more information on the new Proto 2000 F3s, see your participating hobby dealer or visit walthers.com. Thanks for watching.